Hey everyone, welcome back to Graceful Family. Steve here in the shed. And uh, today we're talking about a saying that I absolutely hate called boys will be boys. And I'm going to discuss today three things, responsibility, respect, and resilience that we need to train our boys in order to be men and not just excuse their behavior. Uh, so stick around if you want to uh, raise strong men in this uh, crazy world. At Grayfield Families, we empower you to live out your family values for kingdom purpose and to steer clear of the distractions of this world. And that's our goal for you. You are the parents, take charge, let's do this. Uh, and to do that, uh, one of the great things we have for you is if you head over to www.gracefieldfamilies.com, you'll see a free family insight guide, which will give you a whole bunch of tools that you need to better understand your family and start implementing steps to live differently in this crazy world. So head on over there now, grab that, and we'll get into the blog. All right, so welcome back today. We are talking about a saying that I've heard so many times used as an excuse to just belittle our amazing young men. And that is a saying, boys will be boys. Man, this saying often grates me, right? Because what it does is it excuses our boys to just be little punks. Uh, I wanted to say assholes, but I'm not sure if I can say that on camera. And that's not really what we want for our boys. We don't want our boys to grow up learning that it's okay to be rude to girls, to be rude to, to adults, uh, to, to just be disrespectful of other people's property, uh, to give up on things when they get hard. We don't want our boys, just because they're boys, to have excuses not to be men. And a, a saying that I heard a number of years ago that I've adopted uh, that you should too, is that boys will be boys until we teach them to be men. That's got to be our goal. Our goal as parents needs to be to take our little, little fellas and make them men. Now, in saying this, guys, we have this unique ability to never grow up. Now, I'm not saying that we need to take life crazy serious and, and, and just be like, I don't know, just always boring and serious. That's not how I live life. But it's to be respectful, responsible, and resilient. They're the three things I want to talk about today. And there's probably more, but these are the three that I've pulled out. But before we do, um, this guy called Jeremy Pryor uh, from Family Teams. If you don't know Family Teams, jump on the, the gram or Facebook and, and follow them. They're all about family too. Uh, and all into like Jewish traditions and stuff like that. Pretty cool stuff. Uh, but Jeremiah, uh, Jeremy Pryor this week released a uh, Instagram post and it said this, if you raise your kids to become good parents, they're more likely to be happy and raise healthy children. If you simply try to make your kids happy, you're more than likely to make them and their future children miserable. Isn't that interesting? Aim parenting at the third generation. Couple of things out of that is I feel like this boys will be boys mentality is the is a way of excusing young men's behaviour because it's too hard to actually bother teaching them to be adults. You know, it's about their happiness over who they are becoming. And uh, Jeremy talks about this idea of parenting for the third generation. Right, you're actually building little people into big people. Why? Because one day they're going to be parenting your grandkids, right? And your grandkids are going to be parenting your great grandkids, right? So we want to grow a family legacy that is integrate, that has yeah responsibility, resilience, all those things that make up someone who's going to be a world changer, someone who's going to grow up and, and impact this world for God's kingdom. So that always needs to be our goal. We're not parenting a little kid in the moment, trying to keep them happy and stopping crying or getting them the latest thing or anything like that. Our, our end goal is that they will be an amazing parent themselves so that their grandkids or your grandkids can be amazing parents as well. All right, does that sound cool? It's a long game. Yeah, we got that. So aim parenting at the third generation, super important. So three things I think we need to teach our boys into men to be three things today, and they all conveniently start with R, to respect, responsibility, and resilience. So firstly, respect. When you just say, oh, boys will be boys, I've heard it said so many times with the way that they're treating young girls or even female adults, oh, boys will be boys. 
you know, it's okay for them to, to do that to girls or whatever. Um, creates a huge problem in our society, right? Like domestic violence and, and, and like wolf whistling, all that sort of stuff. It comes from um, behavior being excused and allowed from a, a, a young age. Um, I'm, I'm no expert in that. Don't quote me on that. But it, it's lack of respect, right? And if we just don't parent our boys to be men, we don't grow in respect. And so what we want from our boys, we want two things. We want them to respect others. Yeah, we want them to always think about others as much as they love themselves. It's very biblical to do that. The second thing is we want to grow up boys who are respected, who have such a high level integrity that people respected them. Look at Jesus as our example, right? He, like so many times, in particular around women, paid them with great respect. People with disabilities, he paid great respect. He, he took them from this um, political object. Uh, we see in stories, I think, of the woman being um, stoned and Jesus writes in the ground and sort of says to the people, those who haven't sinned, cast the first stone. He, he, the Pharisees were trying to trap him in that, right? They were trying to use this woman as a political pawn. They were sacrificing her and her dignity uh, for their own pride right and jesus turns around he not only destroys their argument he not only destroys what they were trying to do but he dignifies this woman he forgives her he he, he pumps her full of his grace and he says go and sin no more you are changed right he respects those who are lowly he respects those in high positions although he calls it out absolutely and calls them to better he washes his disciples feet like he's a servant. We need to teach our boys that they are to serve, right? That they can actually do the, 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 the crummy jobs. They can get alongside people and support them and love them at their lowest, right? Because they're no better than any other human. Boys will be boys until we teach them to be men. Secondly, responsibility, right? I see it more and more as a teacher of teenagers. Um, I see the society's narrative for teenagers and I hate it. It's that they have no responsibility, that they, they've got no value in them to contribute to society. And it's just totally wrong because young men actually have the ability to, to lead. You know what they need? They need some accountability. They actually need to be taught how to be responsible, how to take care of their own messes, how to take care of their own um, problems that they've broken. At the moment in our society, parents are rescuing kids left, right, and center. And, and, and we're growing up with these young boys who are not becoming young men because they're getting rescued. Uh, and I see it as a big worry at the moment. Now I could go on and on for hours about this. But parents of boys, let's teach our boys how to be responsible and how to fix their messes, yeah? They don't know it unless we teach them and unless we model it. So let's teach our boys to be respectful and let's teach our boys responsibility that their actions matter, their actions make a difference and when we stuff up, we fix it up, right? That's, that's going to set them up as leaders. And lastly, I want to talk about resilience. Now, resilience is the capacity to withstand or to recover quickly from difficulties and toughness. And I'm going to read out of James 1, uh, 2 to 5, because I think this talks beautifully about how we can train our boys and girls to be resilient. Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know the testing of your faith, faith produces perseverance. Let perseverance finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. And if any of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God who gives generously to all without finding fault and it will be given to you. Resilience. Our kids need to grow up knowing that they fail forward, right? Knowing that it's okay to fail forward. Knowing that when life gets difficult, we don't just say, oh, we're not feeling it anymore and give up. We actually step up. And we step out and we, we, we persevere because it's in the perseverance that your faith is complete. Yeah, God is looking to give our kids more and more talents in the story of the talent, right? Those who 
did the most got more. You know, that, that goes with lots of things. That's God's currency, right? That those who are faithful with the little that he gives them, he will then give them more. If we're creating kids with, with kingdom-minded purpose and we want them to change this world for God and, and, and not get distracted by the, the, the sins and the, the, the lusts and the, the desires of this world, then we need kids who are willing to take punches and roll with them and build resilience, right? So we need to teach this. Resilience isn't something that just all of a sudden magically appears. We need to show them from our own life that we don't just give up when things get hard. Yeah, we need to give our, our boys a leg up in resilience. So what does that mean? Don't always rescue them. All right, take a step back and support. Be that, that coach, that counsellor who supports them. Talk through their problems with them, particularly teenagers. Yeah, talk through what has happened and how can we, we fix this. It's part of taking responsibility that builds resilience. Um, build things into them, experiences into their life. They need resilience. Take them on long hikes and camping trips. Teach them hard things like a musical instrument or, or surfing or, or bike riding. Like let's teach them things where they can um, strive, have issues, move past them, and have success. We need to encourage our kids um, that it's okay to persevere and to grow uh, because this will step them out in future. This will, they will stand out in workplaces. They will stand out in communities as people who can fail forward through perseverance. So three things, respect, responsibility, and resilience. And then we go from raising boys who will be boys and excusing behavior just because they're a boy to boys will be boys until we teach them to be men. We need to teach our boys to be men so they can stand out, step up, and move out into society. And guess what? You're the busy, biggest example for them. You're the one they're following. How are you doing? How are things working for you? Are you showing respect? Are you showing responsibility? Are you fixing your messes? Are you being resilient through the tough times? And I encourage you, the last part of that James verse is that those who need wisdom would seek God and he will give it generously. Yeah. If you're struggling with this parenting gig, it's hard, right? I got five of them, I know. Seek his wisdom. Yeah. Seek his wisdom. Reach out to us. We're always open. Our inbox is always open. Uh, we're happy to support and look after you. But you are the example that your young boys, particularly dads, are going to look up to. So how are you growing? How are you changing? Yeah, how are you persevering? How are you giving them an example of what it means to be a real man in a world where it's confusing to know what it's like to be a man? Absolutely. Um, so there we go. Uh, don't forget, we have our family insight guide on our website. So head over and, and grab that. That's a great resource to to help you find purpose with your family into the future. So grab that um, and, you know, like, comment, subscribe, whatever. Inbox us if you, you want support, particularly dads. I'm really keen to get uh, some more like mentoring or coaching type stuff with dads. So if that's something that interests you, let me know and we'll see what the future holds. Um, I think it's hard being a dad. I think it's really tough, um, but it's actually also awesome. It's such a good opportunity uh, to love and to bring up men of the future. Uh, and I love that my boys, I can see where they're going and I love it. I love being part of it, even though it's tough. Um, so yeah, reach out. Anyway, uh, God bless. Uh, see you later. Mm -hmm.